All right, so today we're out here and we're starting to work on the uh, snorkel for my 2015 Honda TRX 420. First order of business when you're doing this is you got to get the factory snorkel out. This right here is the factory snorkel. This is where it hooks into underneath of here and it sits up underneath of this. So what I had to do was there's a couple clips that hold this in place right over here. And then when you slide the computer underneath of there, there's a 10 millimeter bolt that screws into the top of the gas tank. So take that out and then it gives you enough leverage that you can kind of move this out of the way, manipulate that friggin' snorkel over, and uh, then you're good to go. So, all right, here's where we're at, guys. We are not in too bad of a shape. It's pretty much exactly where we want it to be. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out of the airbox and I'm gonna mark it so that I know exactly how it goes back together for when the, I decide to glue it. So we'll see. Ow, son of a bitch! <laughs> what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to mill this down. Two inches, just a hair too big, so. Some guys say to use a table saw. I just used a, uh, I took my uh, skill saw and just flipped it upside down and did it that way, it seems to work. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, See if I can get that boot out of there, clean it up real nice, and uh, we're gonna silicone the shit out of that, and then put it back in. Gonna clean all the crap off. So, all right. So I got the pretty much I got the whole air box out now. Um, pretty easy to take out. You've just got these push clips right here that push in, and they attach to the back plastics on the left hand side of the bike. You've got this, uh, there's this connection right here. Looks like it's to your O2 sensor. It is clipped into the airbox just to keep it there. And then you've got a hose that runs into the, oh, the crankcase, I, I don't even know what the hell it is, but make sure that hose comes off and then it pops right out. We've got it over here at the bench. And uh, I'm gonna set this aside so I don't wreck it. Still have to mark that. And we're going to go ahead and clean all these boots real, real good. And then we're going to uh, silicone them with marine uh, silicone. Just to make sure that uh, no water gets in whatsoever. Alright, so what you want to do is take all these boots out. You've got your one that goes into the throttle body there. And then this is your actual uh, air intake. And then... Uh, You've got your, uh, I don't know, I'm guessing this is a sensor probably for if the water gets up too high in the airbox, it probably just automatically kills the engine. I'm guessing that's probably what that is. But you got to pull that out. Now, in, it is going to be glued or whatever the hell Honda uses. It's like a brownie, orangey type of crap that's on there. You're going to want to clean off whatever Honda puts on there. You're going to have to get right in the grooves and stuff. What I did is I just took whatever I could off with my finger. And on the air box itself, I just used a razor blade. And then what I did was I just used some, a little, sprayed a little carb cleaner on there to clean it up real nice. So did the same thing with here. And then I took a, a rag with a flathead screwdriver and then pushed the rag in and then got all the crap out of the inside. The carb cleaner really helped to soften it up. So just went and got some uh, ultra black. And uh, this is what we're going to use to reseal those pieces back into the airbox. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that now. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit in the seams. Like, I'm going to put a tiny little bit around the, uh, like in here, in the seams. So when it gets pushed in, um, it'll seal really well. And then I'm going to do it again on the outside. So... Let's go ahead and let's get that done. All right, so we get the first one in. This is your air intake here. So as you can see, it's kind of squishing out a little bit. What we're gonna do is see this little tab right here. It's got to line up in between those two lines to make sure that this is at the proper angle. Of course, we want it to be perfect because if it isn't, then the uh, piece that we made up over there for the snorkel, isn't going to line up anymore so we're going to want to make sure that this is perfect once we get that set then we're going to go ahead and put our new bead another bead of uh, the ultra black around the outside of this and then on the inside 
before we put this in because there just isn't going to be enough room with that other piece sticking out. It's just easier to do one at a time, start from the bottom, work our way up. Alright, so there we go. We got it all back in place. We got everything uh, ultra blacked. And as far as the inside goes, um, it's, you know, you're going to get enough, I think, just from what you put in the seams. It's, it's nearly impossible. It's pretty much impossible for you to get to the bottom, so there's really no point, right? So you can't get underneath of there. And on the bottom one, I couldn't get underneath of there even with that removed. It's a real bitch to fucking put this stupid uh, air filter back on. I figured that one out, but between what I put on the on the inside and then what I put on the outside should be more than enough I'm thinking you know no water is going to be getting inside of there so I'm going to go ahead and put this air box back in and uh, right on all right so we got our air box back in sorry I didn't show you when I took it out I kind of just showed you how but you got to pull that uh, push pin out you got to pull that push pin out and then there's that um, wiring whatever I think it's for the O2 sensor it just clips up in there you just got to put a piece of pliers on there and kind of push it in and then you got that hose I don't know if you can see it's really dark there's a hose right here you got to pull it off it's just I find it was easier to pull it off of the motor and then just bring the hose with it and then there's a, a plug right here which I believe is your water uh, level shut off because it's right before the you know, I'm guessing that that's what it is anyway. I don't know what else it would be. But, uh, yeah, so that's back in. Now we're going to start going, keep going ahead with uh, fitting in our uh, tubes. So I thought I had some uh, ABS cement, but I don't, so I can't do any of that. So we're just going to do our mock-up today. So what I did was I just, uh, so it's pretty much perfect. Like, that's where we're sitting right now. So I'm thinking hopefully it doesn't rub too bad on the plastics, but I think that'll work out just fine. And then we're going to run a piece about this long, right to about there. And then that's where we're going to put our flex piece in so that if we ever have to take it out and do any work, we just remove it from there. We don't have to take the whole snorkel out. So. All right, guys, she's uh, ready to go. I just have to take it all apart and uh, start gluing everything together. I've already got that piece marked, so I'll pull that out, glue it. It'll be ready. I'll glue that piece to it as well. Then I'll leave the uh, coupler and uh, glue the rest together. And then that coupler is attached to a 45 underneath that runs up to that straight and then 45 45 down so I don't have to run worry about uh, water getting in there so so far I've got a straight out to a 45 to a 45 straight to a 22 and a half it's easier if you can get a straight but all I had all they had at Home Depot was the 45 so I just put a piece in about a two inch piece of uh, straight in there and then attach the 22 and a half and then I went straight with a coupler straight with a um, what's this one here this one is a 22 and a half and then that 22 and a half runs straight up into a 45 and yeah Run straight up into the 45 and then the 45 goes into a little piece of straight, attaches to that coupler and then goes up the straight and then the two 45s. So we're pretty much laughing. So just gonna take it all apart and start uh, gluing pieces back together. Yeah. All right guys, so we're hopefully gonna get this thing finished today. I've kind of just been plugging away at it bit by bit. Um, yesterday I came out and after you saw that I had everything fitted and routed the proper way, I uh, came out and uh, took it all back apart. It was all marked in the in the spots that uh, like where the pipes all met together, and then I uh, glued it all together with my ABS glue. And now, as you can see, it's all installed permanently. 
Um, I am going to remove this top pipe here and I think I'm going to cut it about there because I'm not really a fan of how it turns down like that but minor detail um, yeah so what we're gonna do now is our vent line so I'm just gonna show you quick uh, where they are there's your uh, that's your rear diff vent line and it just slips up inside of here so you pull that out and then you've got your fuel line vent which runs down in through here and then it plugs into the front of the frame so you're gonna want to pull that off this pink one right here that you can see that right there that's for your fan and uh, your coolant overflow is on the other side and then you've got uh, your front diff as well so just go to your front diff and follow it up you've got a, a, a tube here for the weeper for your uh, for your uh, water pump, it, I guess what it does is if the water pump leaks, it uh, you know that it's leaking because it drips out that hole and lets you know that it needs to be changed. So I don't know. Some guys say they didn't even worry about venting it. Other guys say they do. I think I'm going to leave it for the time being and do a little more research. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, routing all these lines. I grabbed some... Uh, grab 20 feet of a uh, quarter inch and I picked up some of these push connectors couplers quarter inch couplers so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this set up I got five vent lines to do this comes with five couplers it was like four bucks for um, this pack of things and then like six bucks for this so it gets gives 20 feet which is more than enough We'll do clear. I, don't, I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Um, if I'm going to run it up into my headlight or not, I don't know. Or into my uh, gauge pod. I don't know yet. I have an idea. I haven't a clue exactly what I'm going to do yet. But I don't know. I might, I might not. We'll see. But anyways, let's get it done. Alright guys, we're pretty much done. I ended up for now. I don't like this. I don't like the way it looks. I just ended up doing all the vent lines right here on the snorkel. I really don't like the way that looks, but that's just what I'm going to do for now. I don't know. Maybe I'll do another fake snorkel on this side. I don't know. It's just, I don't know if I want to drill a hole in these plastics as well. Um, so I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I was going to put it up into the headlight pod, but I got to figure out how the hell to get this cover piece off so I can possibly do that so i don't know we'll uh, do a little bit of research into that but this is fine too this is how a lot of the kits you buy online come the guys just run them up the side like this it looks like shit that's the only thing to me it does anyways i really don't like the way that it looks so so when you're done your lines you're going to want to go over and uh, dielectric grease your uh, spark plug uh, boot and uh, that's pretty much it. I'm sure there's a couple connections in here that you could probably uh, that you could probably go ahead and uh, grease, but I don't exactly know which ones to do. The videos that I watch, nobody really said much about uh, greasing up your uh, connections. So I just did the spark plug, and uh, yeah, just like I don't think I'm going to be going too deep. You know what I mean? But it's nice to have as a precaution, you know, just in case. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, plastics put back, the plastic uh, cowl piece put back on, and she's done. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, if you did, leave me a comment down below, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. So, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, keep it scrappy.